everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your TRX full body toning workout. So in this workout, we are going to work your entire body for strength and cardio and toning using your TRX suspension trainer. Don't worry, I'm going to give you lots of options to work to your level. We're gonna get a good burn, we're gonna get our heart rates up, we're gonna have a great time doing it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start with a quick little warm up. You can have those straps at a low or a mid length. We're gonna start standing facing our anchor point and we're just gonna sit low and open up those knees and hips. Big raise to the top, sit low, raise to the top. So I've got my straps at the low length or closer to mid. I don't do a ton of adjusting with the straps because a lot of it depends on your anchor point in the ceiling. Mine is pretty low in here but I will cue you as to when you may need to take them down or up. Let's hold this down right here. We're gonna open up the knees and the hips. Gorilla lock to really get those hips open and ready to go. One more each side, and then let's step side to side. So little lateral lunge, reach those hands forward. Our goal here is to get the blood flowing, get a little mobility work, before we jump right in with our trainer. One more each way, last one. And then let's just take it arms out in front, reach to the side, reach to the side. If you want full body rotation all the way around, take it here, take it here. All the way through, one more. And let's face away from our anchor point. We're gonna do a big step forward, arms out. So forward lunge, opening up the knee, dropping for the hip and the hip flexor, and then leaning forward away for our shoulders, chest opener, arms all the way through. One more, let's hold it here and let's rotate to that side. And then we'll get same thing, other side, switch your arms. Switch your legs. So in this workout, step it back, shake it out. All right, no intervals today, nothing crazy. We're just gonna start with a the move, then we'll be building to add on for that strength, for that turn, toning. As you can feel, all of that should also keep your heart rate up to get cardio as well. Work to your level, I will give you options. We are gonna start facing our anchor point. We're gonna start with a two-legged squat. So just basic toes, pointing forward, elbows at your side, sit low, and bring it up. So similar to that warm up, we're taking it here, all the way down, all the way up. So we're gonna start with just this. I really want you to think about using the straps as a way to keep your balance and also as a way to get lower. Sometimes it's hard with weights or with body weight to get as low as we can in that squat. Use the straps to allow yourself to get lower, to open up those knees and hips for mobility. One more right here. We're gonna add a little pulse at the bottom. Watch me. Pulse for two, up on the toes. Pulse for two, up on the toes. If you want, you can push down with those handles to get a little bit of extra arm and tricep, but you're not pulling yourself up, right? We're here, pulse. Two more. So you can keep the toes, or if you want, take it to a little bit of a jump. Pulse for two, jump. Pulse for two, jump. If that's not right for you today, up on the toes. Remember, I always want you to be where you are today. And if that's jumping, go for it. Land soft, pulse, push, two more, or toes. Last one, and breathe, shake it out. So let's take it to some upper body. We'll be alternating upper body, lower body, and core. So when one thing gets a break, the other thing works and we keep that heart pumping. Walk your feet forward into that basic row. So watch me here. Everything is zipped up nice and tight. Elbows come in and I'm dropping down. We're making sure the straps are tight. We have no slack. Elbows come in just like a bent over row. Let's get it done. If you need it to be harder, walk the feet forward. Easier, walking back in three, two, one. Here we go, bring it up. 
drop it down. Core stays engaged. Also making sure that we're not breaking those wrists at the top, that we're not pulling ourselves in with our wrists, that we're keeping it in the back, right? Pull those shoulder blades in just like you would with a regular row. Again, if you need more intensity, walk them forward, increase that angle a little less, walk it back. Let's get one more. Good, little stretch right here. We're actually gonna get a stretch in between to give our wrists a little break. And then we're gonna add a little pulse at the top. We're gonna go three, two, one. Let it drop, turn those palms over. Three, two, one. Let it drop. You're not dropping in the hips, you're just dropping in the back. So it's here, but not here, right? Three, two, one. Let it drop. Four more, just like this. Squeeze, elbows in, and back. Three, strong through the back, through the shoulders. Two, core is still pulled in, last one. Stretch it back. One more version of this, but we're gonna get that stretch in between. Rest your wrist. Here's what we got. Everything we just did. We're gonna pulse for three. Lift up those elbows, drop it down. Pulse for three. Delt raise, like that. All right, join me here. We only got eight. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go, pull it up, squeeze. Three, two, lift those elbows down. Bring it up, three, two, one, and lift, and down. Squeeze, elbows up. Looks like this. Three, two, one, and lift. Drop it down, four more. Three, two, nice and tight in your back. Three, two, two more. All the way through those muscles, down along the spine, those big muscles that support our entire back, and relax, good. Stretch it here, feel that stretch right here. Give your arms a little break, whoo, yes. All right team, little cardio mobility. While we give our hands a little break, you're still holding the straps for nice and light, step it out just like we did in that warm up. We're here, big stretch. If you want, you can add a little shuffle step. If you wanna break completely from the straps, or that feels weird to you at all, you can just do it here. Take it body weight, reach, side lunge, reach, side lunge, but use those straps to press down. So we stretch out that back and step out wide to strap out those, stretch out those hips. Four more, here we go, four. Keep breathing, three. Last two. One more, yes, relax. Catch your breath, quick sip of water if you want it. Whew. Let's face away from our anchor point. All right team, so we're here. We're gonna start here. We're gonna keep those hands high and we're crossing it back and up. So it's gonna be a reverse lunge Keeping it grounded, no foot off the ground, but we're gonna keep those arms up so we get the mobility. Halfway through, we're gonna add here, then we'll add some pulses at the bottom. So starting up top, you're leaning forward just a bit to get the core working, not straight up and down, but not in that suspended position. Sort of split the difference, drop it in that lunge. Three, two, one, here we go. Take it back. Ooh, let's start with our arms up, why not? That's what I said we were gonna do, right? Really lengthen through those shoulder muscles, through the back, drop it low. If you need to modify, you can just tap. If you're able, get low, power it up, and breathe. Watch me here. We're gonna take it back, bring it up. Power that knee up. Lean forward just a bit. Down, and power. Big reach, and power. If you want, little jump with the knee, low and jump, take it down, and up. Four more, four, reach, three, burn, two, 
one. Watch me here, we're gonna pulse. Three, two, one. Power up. Three, two. Watch what's happening with my arms. I'm pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Power up. Three, squeeze to the back. Power up, four more. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And up. Squeeze in the back, press in the heel. Two more. Yes, you can, last one. And up, ha, ah, shake out that leg, right? Whew. Bring those arms up, shake them out. Little taps. How's that heart rate, right? We can get our cardio when we get our strength. Let's get it done with that other side. We're gonna start with those arms up. Notice how hard your arms are working and they're not even taking any of the body weight. They're just getting the mobility work. Let's take them up top. Remember, split the difference. Little lean forward, but not suspended, and not straight up and down. Halfway in between, core's engaged. Arms stay up, three, two, one. Here we go. Down and reach. Take it nice and slow. And up. Take it down and reach. Down and reach. Four more, just like this. Really lengthen through the top of those fingertips all the way through the arms, trying not to be here. Keep them straight. Good. Let's out those arms, big circle, around and back. Power it up. You can add that knee if you want. And knee. Take it back, yes. And knee. Jump it if you want. Get low to high. Little power forward. Lock out with the core at the top. And breathe. Yes, you can. Four. Squeeze at the top, squeeze at the bottom with those arms. Two. Pulse it for three at the bottom. Here we go. Three, two, one. Power up. Three, two, one. Power up. Again, I'm pulsing those shoulders and pinkies together. Three, two, one. Power up with the knee. Four more. You can do it, stay with me. Take it down. Yes, two more. Last one. Yes, you can. And breathe, ha. Ah, drop those straps, shake it out, ha. Ah, how do we feel? I know, I'm feeling it too. Breathe into it. Stand up top. We're going to a chest press. So I know those arms have been working, but let's shake them out. We're gonna get upper body. So chest, shoulders, arms, and core. You can have these mid or low length. We're gonna start right here. Remember, if you need to modify, I want you to put one foot forward so that core has a little bit extra support or on the toe. Otherwise, take it here, straps out in front. If they're rubbing on your shoulders, take them up high. We're lowering it down in that chest press in three, two, one. Here we go. Down and up. Upper body and core. So what I want you to think about this, again, if you need that modification, you're here or foot forward, but you're still pushing through the upper, but pulling from the core. So it's upper push, core pull, right? Let's get four more just like that. Four and breathe. If you need it harder, walk those feet back. Easier, walk them up. Two, one more. Hold it down right here. We're gonna pulse, pulse, pull up strong with the core. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. You can do it. Three, two, one, and up. You got it. Keep that core engaged. We're really lifting. Think about bringing your hips together, ribs together, navel to spine. Three, two, one, and power. Yes, one more. And relax, take it forward. I want you to step it out, mobility. Cardio mobility, here to here. Stretch, ha! You can step forward. You don't have to go all the way deep in that lunge unless you want to, but get the arms working. Cardio mobility, shake it out. Yes, you can. Here we go, for eight, seven, breathe, six, yes, arms, 
and core. Four, three, two, one. Take it forward, stretch it out. Lean away. Breathe right here. <sighs> Good. Shake it out right here. All right, team. Ooh, who is feeling it? I know I am. Ah, let's grab a quick sip of water. We're taking it back, facing that anchor point. Little taps, little taps. Ah. All right, so you shake it out. I want you to take it low impact jacks or high impact. Feel those arms, right? Low or high. I'm gonna take you into what we're doing next. You keep doing jacks and watch me here. Again, we can have those straps however we want. We're gonna start with that reverse lunge. We did forward, now take it reverse. If you need to tap the toe down, tap the toe down. Otherwise, if you can keep it off the ground, keep it off the ground. We'll add some pulses, we'll add some jumps, we'll add some crossovers, it'll go fast. Go ahead and grab those straps. Looking up at that anchor point, zip up in that core. Elbows right by your side. Weight in that front heel. In three, two, reverse lunge. Here we go. Drop it down. Bring that knee up, slow it down. I know that heart is pumping. I know we're moving fast through this workout. But keep it controlled. If you need to, you can tap that toe down in between, or you can keep it stationary. Just down and up, just like this. This works too. Yes. Here we go, let's pulse. Three, two, one. Drive it up, here we go. Three, two, one. And up, eyes up, you can do it. If you want, little power jump. Three, two, four more, stay with me. Low, into that heel. Straps are just to keep you balanced. Try not to pull yourself up or lean into it. Last two. One more. Good, watch me here, cross. Cross it over and back. Keep that foot on the ground. Get low, can you get even lower? Breathe. You got four. Cross into that curtsy. Three, two. Hold it here, take it up right here. Kick up and down. Whatever pace you want. I know it's burning, concentrate on the heel. Four, three, two. Shake it out. <laughs> right? Guess what? We're not gonna do too much more of that, all right? I know, we're feeling those quads. We're feeling those glutes. The key is to keep the weight in the heel so we really activate the glutes. Let's get it all done on that other side. Shake it out. Catch your breath. Regular lunge. Here we go, eyes up, chin up to that anchor point. Again, as I go down, my arms pull out. So I start with my elbows by my side, Remember, if you need to tap that toe down, you can. If you need to keep it stationary, you can. This is an option too. Or foot all the way off the ground. Let's add our pulses. Here we go, get low. Three, two, one. Drive it up. Three, two, one. And up. You can put the toe down if you want, but keep the pulse in that front heel. Good, with the jump if you want. Three, two, power comes from the leg. I know it's tempting to pull yourself up with this, but the power is from here. Drive it up, last one. Hold it down right here, find your balance. Eyes up, cross over and back, over and back. Eyes and breathe. Stay low, even lower. Four, push into that heel right here. Three, two, good. Burn it out right here, up, down. Push off that front heel, into it here. Feel that back hamstring, inner thighs. Three, two, one, shake it out. <laughs> right, holding those straps. Cardio mobility, let's just tap and tap and tap. There you go, and breathe. Ah, here we go, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Water, ha, 
How are we doing, team? I think we're good, right? You can do it. We're staying here facing that anchor point. We are gonna get some biceps and a little bit of back and shoulders. So take it here. We're gonna keep it short. We'll get those rests in between. We're starting here. Remember that bicep curl motion is a curl. Our muscle memory wants to make it a row for our back, but we're gonna take a curl. Mid for low length. Up here, core engaged. In three, two, lower. Bring it up. Here we go. Down. Slow and controlled. Take it here to here. Yes. It's a bicep curl motion. Those elbows stay out in front of your shoulders. Two. Pulses at the top right here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let it drop. Stretch it out. Three, two, one. Let it drop. Yes. Three, two, one. Ooh, one more. Right here, little stretch right here. Pull it out. Ha, ha. Breathe. Watch me, team. Keep those biceps burning out here. We're up, out, in, and down. Join me. Up, out, in, and down. You're not going super far. Breathe. But we're going out to activate the back of the shoulders, biceps, back and shoulders, in and down. Up, burn. Yes, you can. Two more. Up, out, and down. Good. Relax, shake it out right here. Let yourself drop all the way back. Stretch it out right here. Ha. Yes, breathe. Woo. All right, team, shake that out. Again, we're gonna do a little taps. Step out, arms back, cardio mobility, no straps. I want you to open up the biceps. Tap and tap and tap and tap. If you want more cardio, because we're about to take it down to the mat, I want you to pick up your pace, more mobility, just stretch it out, stretch it out. Let's go eight, yes, seven, six, Breathe, five, four, yes, three, two, one, relax. Ha, burn, good work team. Catch your breath, we're coming down with those straps. I'm gonna turn my airflow system right here. Whew. All right, let's get it done. So we're here. All right, I want you to have those probably about where they need to be for your core work. Handles at the knees if you're right underneath the anchor point and cradles mid calf. But we're gonna start on our knees. If this bothers your knees at all, then I want you to take it to a standing position. But watch me here. I'm standing right underneath my anchor point. I'm gonna roll it forward for core. I'm gonna bring it back. If the core is not right for you, I want you to get a little hip flexor stretch with it and alternate those knees. But if you can engage the core, let's get it done or take it standing. We're taking those arms out, roll it forward, lean into it. Three, two, one, here we go. Take it up, take it back, take it up, take it back, up, and back. Breathe into it, we want arms and abs. Four more just like this. You can keep those toes down in the back or you can bring them up, it's up to you. Down. Two more. Last one right here. Good, little stretch back. Give your knees a break. We're going into triceps. We're gonna hold it out at the top. So staying here in that angled position, we're triceps, push back. Here we go. Join me here. Again, if that bothers your knees, you can have one foot forward just to here and still push through the arms or you can take it up top. Down and breathe. Yes, you can. Good, let's add a little pulse at the bottom. Three, two, one, push back. This is the last one. Don't worry, nothing after this. For tries, three, two, one, push and pull. So same idea, push with those tries, pull with that core. Three more, whoo, no, four more. <laughs> now three more, pulse, 
Pulse, elbows in, big push. Pulse. Last one. And relax. Ha, stretch it out right here. Yes, you did. Yes, you can. Nice work, team. All right, so we're gonna bring it down. Have a seat here. Remember, we want those straps to be about eight or 10, inch, 10 inches off the ground. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Bless me, woo! Nope, we're not gonna edit that in. That's real life, right? <laughs> so we're gonna put two fingers in those cradles. We're gonna roll it back. I want you to lift up those cradles like dirty socks. Take your feet in, and then we're gonna roll it over. If you need to stay on your knees, stay on your knees. If you need to take your plank on the floor without the straps, those are always options to modify. Otherwise, we're taking it here. We're gonna lift up from here, from knees up, out, out, in, in, down. Join me when you're ready. Lift up, out, out, in, down, down. Bare plank to regular, then in and down. So you get that little resting point. In and down. If you're on your toes, you're just gonna lift up, out, out, in and down, up, out, out, in and down. Two more with your feet in the straps or your feet on the floor. Last one, I'm bringing my straps down just a little. Good, stretch it back, child's pose. We're not gonna hold it up super long because I know how that feels and we need those little breaks. So get that stretch right here. All right, team, so we're gonna pull it up into that high plank. We're gonna bring our knees in to that atomic pike, right? Or pull those knees in. I'm gonna give you different options. So you can keep what we just did or lift it up strong, watch me here. We're in, we're out, we're in. We won't be very long. If you need to keep the in, in, out, out, it's up to you. Bring those knees down in between if you need to. Stay up if you can. Watch me bring those knees in, knees in, out to elbows, in and back. It's a little outer thigh, inner thighs. It's optional, do it if you can. Don't do it if you don't want to. Breathe, yes, four more. Especially hard after all those lunges, right? Three, last two, one more. Oh, burn, right? Take your feet out of those straps, yes. Oh, I know, Whew. Get a little stretch here if you need to with that hip flexor. We're going over on our back. Let's get some hamstrings. A lot of core, but also because those quads and hip flexors are tired from what we did up top, that is why you're probably feeling that a little bit. Let's give our wrist a break too. Fingers in the cradles, roll back. Heels in those cradles. Oh, you might lose one. All right, remember, it's not gonna feel like they're in there super tight. That's part of it. Push your feet against the handles. We're gonna start with those feet in close. Just that hip bridge for hamstrings. Pull that core in tight, hips and ribs together, a little pelvic tilt. Here we go. Lift it up and down, yes. Lift it up and down. So I want you to think about that core. Think about those hamstrings, you're feeling them pretty quickly. Again, push your feet into the handles. That's gonna help you stay in place, knees stay in. Two more, one more. Extend them out right here, so get the stretch. Bring it in and lift. Get the stretch. Bring it in and lift strong with that core. Get the stretch. If you need to take this to the floor, that's okay too. Lots of glutes and hands and everything around the knees. We're strengthening around those knee joints. We need that, right? Last two. Last one. Right here. Take it out and stretch. We're going out. And in, we've got outer thighs, inner thighs, rest that upper body, right? And breathe. Take this break. Four, outer, inner, three, two, one. Watch me here, we're coming up. Take it down. Or just a crunch, knees in. Take it down. We're coming up and down. If that's not right for you, just do the crunch. Or if you're not even crunching, just hands over and up. But if you can, deep core. 
and up. Two more. Last one. Hold it here. Twist and twist. Knees are up. If that's not good for you, you just reach and reach. Twist. Take those feet out and in. Eight. Yes, you can. Seven. Six. We are almost done. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. Feet out. Little stretch. Woo! Burn, right? How about a plank on our elbows to finish it off? You can do it. I know you can. Fingers in. Lift them up like dirty socks. Toes in. Flip it over. Come on to that elbow. All right, team. So again, if you need to stay on the knees, you can just push back and back. Otherwise, we're going plank singles. So we're starting on the ground. Watch me. Deep breath in to expand. Exhale to lift to the knees. Exhale to the toes. Slowly down. Slowly down. Plank singles. Here's what I want you to think about. Your core is doing the work. You're not pushing in those elbows or in those straps. Bring those hips together like magnets, ribs together. Little pelvic tilt, right? Right here, hips to ribs. Everything in, down, and down. Let's get one more. Up, and up, down. This one, we're gonna bring it up and hold. So up, hold it here. Little pike, and down. You got this, little pike. Again, think about that pelvis doing the work. You're not pushing in the elbows, you're not moving those feet. Four more, four, three, yes, two, one. Drop the knees, little stretch. We're staying here, we're so close. We're gonna add a little bit of obliques. You can do it, stay with me. Stay on the knees if you need to. Come all the way up, drop the hip. Center, here we go, drop the hip. Center, drop the hip. Center, you can drop that knee down too. Feel those obliques. And here, this is it, team. Finish out eight and up. Seven obliques and core. Five. Here we go. Four. Lift. Three. Whoo, two. One. Relax. Stretch it back right here. Oh. Take your feet out of the straps. Sit back. Child's pose. You did it. Oh, I know. I felt that too. Let's take that arm underneath the child's pose if that feels good for you and take it down so you get that stretch. Ha ha ha. Right? Whoo. I know. I'm feeling it too, but you did it. This is how we show up. Remember, if it felt hard, it's because you're working hard. Bring it up, roll through cat to cow. It is not hard because you're not doing it, because you can't do it. It is hard because you are doing it. <sighs> Breathe. One more. <sighs> Good, slowly make your way up to your feet. We're gonna use those straps to get a nice good stretch. Oh, my car is on fire. Yes, that is what we want, right? Let's take those arms back. I want you to sit back into your straps. I'm gonna bring mine up a little bit, but it's up to you. Really let yourself hang all the way into that. Let the arms go out. Stretch it here if you can. Take it here. Whoo! Good work, everybody. I know TRX is so challenging. If you don't have one or you're looking for a new one, make sure you check the link in the description below. I do have a discount code. Use the link in the description and you can get this or any other TRX products, which includes uh, the Hex Dumbbells, the Cast Iron Kettlebells, for 15% off, use Body Fit by Amy. It's all in the description below. They have so much great equipment. Ha, ah, walk it forward, stretch it out, ooh, away. Push that heel down. What I love is we get a lot of that built-in mobility work, and with the TRX, you are always, always, always working that core, no matter what you're doing. So let's take it here. Lean away from it. Breathe. Ah. Shake it out right here. Ah. Take that wrist down, let your hut drop 
Let your head drop to the side. Of course, don't forget to, to like this video and subscribe. If you did this workout, tell me what you thought. You did it, you showed up. So if you showed up, you are successful. But I would love to know in the comments how it was for you, what you wanna see more of, how you are feeling, and of course, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe. When you subscribe, turn on those notifications so you always know when something new is coming up, when I have new challenges, when I have live workouts. Subscribe for that, roll through those wrists, little taps out here, roll through those elbows. And of course, check out all the other links in the description. Join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Make sure you are on my email list so you get those free monthly and weekly workout calendars and you get the links and follow me on social at Body Fit by Amy so you don't miss a beat. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your TRX full body toning workout. Great job, everybody.